Hi guys, and this is your workout for violins or violas. This is uh, more of a corrective exercise workout, so if you're dealing with any kind of pain or injury, um, this is gonna be on the less intense side. So the first thing we're gonna do is look for this muscle right here. It goes from your clavicle to just beneath the suboccipital ridge of your skull, turns your head. This is called your SCM. What I want you to do is pinch it. I know it sounds kind of gross. And if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. And do not dig in really deep. You're just looking for tender spots. And when you find someone right there, you're gonna press, are your knees unlocked? Keep your knees unlocked. So what you're doing is you're trying to make sure that pain level goes from just below a seven or wherever it is, you never want it above a seven, to a one or a two. So as long as you're holding, keep your knees unlocked and keep breathing. It's hard to not hold your breath and not lock your knees, okay? That's relaxed, okay? The next thing we're gonna do, I want you to take your left hand, put it under your low back, all right? Pull your shoulder down towards the ground. Look straight at me. Take your right ear and go towards your side, okay? Gently take your hand and pull. And when I say pull, I mean like barely touching, okay? You're pulling down, you're pulling this way. If you have a history of whiplash or any other neck injuries, don't do these. You can try them, but the point is, if they don't feel good, don't do them, okay? Uh, some people love these, some people hate these. I'm just gonna give them to you, and you try them out. So if you get that feeling of, this doesn't feel safe, I don't like this, don't do neck them, don't, don't do the neck stretches, okay? Especially if you're a hypermobile individual, okay? So pull down, look straight ahead, unlock your knees, pull your ear towards your shoulder, and hold. Slightly push your head against your hand, relax. Do again, push your head against your hand and relax. And you're still pulling down, right? You're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. Make sure you keep your knees soft. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, you're gonna look up. So we went here, that's upper traps. So then you're gonna look up, pull backwards. You should feel a stretch in that muscle we just mashed on, okay? And hold. Oh, pull your shoulder down, knees unlocked, breathing. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it, like I said. Now, to counteract that stretching we just did, chin tucks look like this. They're not an attractive exercise, by the way. You pretend like your chin is on rails. Come back, relax. Come back, relax. Keep your knees soft. You'll notice we're trying to bring your ears over your shoulders. It's not a good look. You get this double chin thing going on. That's what we're trying to do, okay? That's, we're trying to strengthen these muscles here. It doesn't feel, uh, it feels weird. Okay, then we're gonna stretch out. Pretend this is your left side, okay? I'm gonna take your thumb, thumb side down, put it against the, the wall or uh, Excuse me, <laughs> a windowsill, okay? Whatever you need to. You're gonna put your thumb side down, arm straight behind you, and then twist away from your arm. You're not coming forward. You're putting your arm behind you and then twisting away, okay? That's all it is, and you should feel a really nice stretch. And pretend this is your right side, all right, sorry, your left side. And you're gonna hold for 30 seconds, okay? So we have 10 seconds to go, I'm guessing. Okay, and hold. Uh, are your knees unlocked? Or are you locking your knees? All right, and then we have one more stretch to do, okay? This is for your forearms. All right, so think about how you play. We're gonna stretch here. If this doesn't feel tight, don't stretch it. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to put your palms flat with your hands directly underneath your shoulders, fingers splayed wide, okay? Pointing directly to you. Try to lift your fingers. If you can lift your fingers, that means you're leaning forward and you're cheating. You shouldn't be able to do this. So, right, pointing towards you. Try to lift your fingers. You should feel a nice stretch here. If you can't get into the, this position, that's fine. If you can only go here, that's fine. 
If it's a still too much, you can start on the wall and work yourself that way. Of course, that will happen, but your goal is to go lower so you can work yourself into that position, okay? Hold that for 30 seconds. Then, after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a thoracic rotation. Sorry, y'all. It's springtime in Tennessee. The wind is right here, and there is pollen everywhere. So, <laughs> apologize for my sniffling and sneezing. You take a broom, and if you can't take the end of this off, what you're gonna do is put the broom side on the right side, okay? So what you're gonna do, we're gonna go, let me back this up a little bit. Left side up, just like this. Put this on the back. Oh no, I can't see this. Put this on the back of your shoulders. You're not pushing against your neck at all. So we're not pushing here. It's just on the back of your shoulders, okay? So you're gonna squeeze your shoulders down, twist, and relax. Twist. If this feels tight, do it. If it doesn't, don't. And remember, you wanna control this. You're not flinging yourself from side to side. Twist, okay. That's easy. Twist, lean. Twist, lean, or you can twist, lean. But generally, this is the way that you wanna go, twist and lean, and if that doesn't feel like anything, we'll just do the part that feels like something. Sounds funny, but everybody is different, okay? Try the other side. The deal is you are bringing your opposite hand towards the knee that's up and back. Pull back. Three. You're going for five to 10, depending. And if you're leaning, remember you wanna stay upright. You're not le coming down and leaning. You're twisting and leaning. And if it doesn't feel good, then don't do it, okay? But the twisting is okay. Another option you have, with if you don't have a broomstick, which I don't know who would, but yeah, it's fine. But in case you don't want to grab a broomstick, this is easy. Call these open books. Put your legs on top of each other, hands on top of each other. Rotate, oh, pop, and come back. You're trying to get your sternum to go towards the ceiling, right? Just like that. And try not to let your top leg rotate this way. If you have a foam roller to put underneath it, it's even better. Okay, and what we're doing is we're trying to go 10 on each side. Try it on the other side. If there's only one side that feels tight, that's the side you need to do it on, all right? So after that, we're gonna do something called a cobra. So a cobra, I don't know why we call it this, but this is what we do. So a cobra, I'm gonna do it this way because it's not working out right. That'll work, I think. All right, cobra is where you put your hands here, rotate out and back. Also, your knees should never be locked. This is locked. You always want them bent. They don't have to be bent, but soft, right? Roll your shoulders back, squeeze, bring them to the front. Squeeze. Bring to the front. Keep the bottom two, I want you to think that you're bringing the bottom of your shoulder blades together. Squeeze and relax. So you're gonna do this for 10, 10 times. Actually 12 to 15 if you can do it. But the thing is you're thinking I'm bringing the bottom of my shoulder blades together, you're squeezing the whole time. So when you're coming back to the front, you're still actively engaging here. We're gonna say it's eight, I don't know. Nine, relax, you should be doing this with me. 10, here we go. 11, one more, 12, there we are. Now grab your broom again. You know, hold here. If you can be up against the wall, it's even better because you're gonna get the right angle. 
So what you're gonna do is we're gonna bring this back, rotate and up. Also, did you unlock your knees or are they locked? If you're against the wall, the wall will prevent you from going too far back. Most people wanna do this, okay? We just need to go to here and then rotate, okay? The goal is for this to be covering your ears. So, here, rotate, up. So, if you find yourself smacking yourself in the forehead, what I see a lot of is this. That's cheating. You may have to adjust. You want to pretend like you ever been on a pool and you're, you're sitting in the pool and your hands are just resting on top of the water? That's what you're thinking. My hands are resting on top of the water. I'm just going to rotate and then press up. Okay? Ten times. Five to ten. Look like this from the side. Squeeze. Knees are soft, okay? Now we're gonna do an external or an internal rotation. Now, if you don't have a band, you can use a wall. It's totally fine. So, one side. So what you're gonna do, 90 degrees. Jesus. 90 degrees is key, all right? So we're gonna do an isometric hold. So, think about how you play. You're here, we're already rotated in. We need to work on rotating out. So, left arm, you're gonna put 90 degrees in the doorway. I want you to unlock your knees, brace your ab, lock this shoulder into the socket and push out. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Push, five, four, three, two, one, relax, you're gonna do this five times. If this is easy, do it for 10 seconds each, okay? Other side, you're gonna do the same thing. So, if you think about how you play, you probably don't need a lot of internal rotation this way. You need more internal rotation this way, less external rotation this way. So left side, we're gonna go push, five, four, three, two, one, relax, push, five. Notice I'm no, I am not shrugging, I'm holding it here. My knees are soft, holding it here, nice and easy. This is a 90 degrees. And then this one is gonna be external. So internal, ex, left internal, right external. How this looks, if you have a band, looks like this. So. Left is gonna go internal. You can put it around the doorknob. Right external would be this. Can you all see that? There you go. Right, so you're gonna externally rotate. You'll notice from the side, I'm keeping my elbow locked in tight, okay? Internal is a little trickier to deal with because I wanna go this way. Internal and pull in. You all see that? There we go. Pull, pull back slowly. Back slowly. And also, I'm not shrugging, I'm not letting this arm fly out, I'm not doing this. You're just like thinking my arm is swiveling like this, really close, okay? We need 12 to 15 of those. Okay, we have two exercises left. Because your core is important. Your body doesn't work in isolation. So we're gonna do something called a dead bug and a bridge. Okay, you're gonna do these one right after the other. Step one of a dead bug. Draw your belly button into the ground. Squeeze, hands up. Touch here. You look like a dying cockroach. Hey, okay. Okay, are you holding your low back into the ground? There we go. If this is too easy, you can push against the wall, but I'm gonna give you a different version. Hold your hand against your left, your right arm against your left knee. Lock out, lock it out. This knee pushes this way, this hand pushes this way. Push. And then the rest of you, the opposite moves, okay? Push, 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 push. Low back into the ground. 
If you don't want to count tempo or time, you can count 10 on each side. Push, push, push. Your low back is in touch with the ground and you're pushing against your hand at the same time. And then nine, 10. Switch. Left arm, right knee, up. Here we go, push. Low back in touch with the ground. Push, push. Three, here we go. Four, keep pushing. Rest if you need to. You got five more, five. Whew, low back in touch with the ground, four. <laughs> Three. You'll notice one side is more difficult than the other. One. Good. Bridges. What you're going to do, draw your belly button in again. Squeeze your butt. Drive through your heels. What this looks like from the opposite direction. Like this. Okay. If you feel this in your quads or in your hamstrings, make sure your feet are close to your rear end. Okay. Squeeze. Squeeze. I don't want to see overarching like this. That's not what we're going for, okay? So draw your belly button in, squeeze your butt, lift up, back down. Squeeze, you're squeezing the entire time. Okay, driving through heels, three, four. We're gonna try this for 15 to 20. This is what it would look like if I was not squeezing. But I am squeezing, so it looks a little different, yeah? Eight. Nine, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Ten. We're gonna do, are you squeezing the whole time? Three, two, one more. One, good. All right, so since the body does not work in isolation, we're gonna do one more uh, full body exercise that has to integrate the entire body into everything. If you don't have any bands like I've got, uh, and you don't have any kind of dumbbells, that's fine. We're gonna do, I'll show you one with a band, but you can also use it with water jugs, your gig bag, all kinds of stuff, okay? band and what I want you to do here we are what I want you to do so I've got a band with two handles you're gonna put it under one leg all right right under the arch of one leg so knees are soft shoulders are back belly buttons in you're gonna curl press and I want you to curl and press right over here so it looks like this all right Curl, press over the ears, right? Just like that. Okay, you need 12 to 15 of those. If you happen to have some dumbbells or some weights or something like, a, you know, weight jugs or whatever, these are four pounds, it's not a whole lot, but think of how you hold your instrument like this, right? You don't hold it this way. So we're gonna go a little bit backwards from that. Another strength exercise you can do. Pretend like you're trying to give somebody a hug who's sick. You don't wanna to talk to them. See that bend I've got right there? So what you're gonna do, knees are soft, belly button's in. We're gonna do a nice arc here. You're gonna go up and down. And then to the front and down. And what I need you to notice here as we do this, your hands are underneath your elbows. They are not above my elbows. They're not here. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. You want your wrists below your shoulders and you want your wrists below your elbows. So when I come up, see this? When I come up, I'm not this way and I'm not this way. Nope. You never want your elbows above your shoulders and you don't want your wrists above your elbows. Just like this, and to the side. And up, turn from the side, it looks like this. There we go. And you're keeping that bend in your elbows, and we keep going, okay? Three, yeah, two more. Two, and last one. 
and one. Woo! All right. That is a first in a series, so that's more of a corrective exercise workout. Uh, looking forward to doing some more workouts with you guys. Hit me up with any questions, and thanks for watching.